Hey guys, Brett Williams here from lifewithoptions.net and on today's video I want to talk about emotions. I want to talk about understanding your own emotions and how to be able to process them. So first and foremost, emotions are, on many occasions, there's something that we don't want, whether it's a sadness or whether it's a bit more of a negative emotion, we have a tendency to be like, ah, oh, why do I have to feel like this? When in fact, our emotions actually serve a purpose. It's a communication between our unconscious mind and what's going on within our body and, and for ourselves. And it's a way for us to be consciously aware as to what's there to be processed. You've probably heard it before, every situation has a learning opportunity and our emotions are simply highlighting that opportunity for us to learn and grow deeper connection within ourselves and understanding what triggers us, understanding how we interact with the world around us and at the same time showing us where we need to focus. If you're going through a bit of a rough patch at the moment and you're starting to find that your emotions are slipping into what you would want to call more of a negative state, maybe uh, more of a destructive mindset and you know sadness and frustration and everything like that, Instead of resisting it, start inquiring into it. Ask into that emotion, what is there for me to learn? What area is there for me to grow? And you'll be surprised into what shows up. I know for myself, when my ex and I broke up, it was a, a completely heartbreaking transformation for myself. It was just, yeah, going through some of the darkest days of my life. And looking back at it now, because I asked myself that question, what lessons can I learn from here? I really understood the path forward for myself as to how I was to grow, to become stronger in my own self, to become a better um, communicator of my own emotions, to be able to be strong in interpreting my own emotions and understanding what's there and, and just processing what's going on for myself. And at times it's gonna be uncomfortable. You're not gonna to wanna to go there. But at the end of the day, our emotions are here to support us. They're not here to cause us any pain. But the thing is, is we have a tendency at times to associate ourselves as the emotion in which we're feeling. You know, I am sad, I am happy, I am this. When in fact, you're not the emotion, you're experiencing the emotion, yes, but you're not the actual emotion itself. You know, it's like saying you're going to go for a walk. Instead of saying I am going for, i.e. you're experiencing this activity called a walk, it's like saying I am a walk, which is not the case. But yet when it comes to our emotions, we have the terminology and the language which creates an ownership on that. So first and foremost is to actually break that ownership of the emotion. If you are feeling sad at the moment, it's more of a case of you're experiencing a sadness. You're not the sadness itself. Because when you start to disassociate from the actual emotion that's going on for yourself, you are able to be able to dive into it deeper and understand what lessons and learning is there for you to be able to uncover and where you can grow. Another example in my own life was when my grandma passed away. And, you know, it's a sad time to lose anybody. It's, it's never a pleasurable thing at all. But I explored into that myself and what I found and what I uncovered was something that I would not have uncovered otherwise, which was to dive into more of a spiritual understanding, to grow myself in more of a spiritual way and be able to be in tune more with what's going on around me and the, the energy and the environment and the, be, becoming more present. That was what lesson came out of that for me. So no matter what you're going through, whether it is a challenging time or whether it's the highest times of your life, there is always a lesson to be learned because even when you're going through all of those happy moments, you know, you also want to uncover what led you to be in this happy state, what created it so that you can recreate it when you choose. So start to acknowledge your emotions as something that is more of a communication between your unconscious mind and your conscious mind. And rather than them being something that is here to cause you pain or discomfort or something to be afraid of because emotions are not something to be afraid of. But in reality, I don't think it's the emotion that we become afraid of. I think it's the thoughts that then stem from that particular emotion and the meaning that we give the emotion. So start to uncover, I guess, segregate it. Look at the emotion as something that's here to serve you. There's a purpose for it. There's a message in there for you to uncover. There's a lesson. And sometimes it's to slow down. Sometimes it's to love yourself more. Sometimes it's to, to grow in a particular way. Whatever it is, that emotion is here to help you. And through the Path to Self Mastery program is something that we dive into deeper. Uncovering your emotions, uncovering the emotional triggers. You know, what, what triggers you to be happy? What triggers you to be sad? 
What triggers the destructive thought patterns in your mind? All of these things are something that we deep dive into in the Path to Self Mastery program. So what I will do is I'm gonna put the link to that particular program down below and you can go and grab the four free videos, which is the first four videos in the 24 video series. So you can go and get those for free and start to uncover your emotions and your connection to them and what it all means to you. Because at the end of the day, they're not here to hurt you, as I keep saying. They're here to serve you and they're here to allow you to grow and to just to show you the areas in which require a little bit more focus for yourself. That said, if you got any value out of this one, like it, share it, comment it, show it some love. And as said, I'll put that link below so you can go and grab your four free videos as well. All right, speak soon. Cheers.